guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Camille Marseille and welcome back to another video I know I have not been vlogging in almost two months um and I know I said in my previous vlog that I would get up here and give y'all a whole life update um because there was a reason why I had to go MIA for a minute and I had to get myself together okay but I can assure you that I probably will not be going MIA for a long time because I'm just in this different headspace and all of that but before we get into it I already know what to do you already know the vibe be sure to comment like and subscribe we're almost to 5,000 subscribers we probably would have been there by now if I would have been consistent but it's okay I had to listen to what God was telling me to do y'all and also another thing anybody have a problem with me talking about God on my channel you can go ahead and exit left because I wouldn't be here where I'm at and I wouldn't even have gone through the storm that I just went through if it wasn't for God and me leaning on God even more so um you know just a quick disclaimer not even a disclaimer I'm just letting you know what's tea because around here we worship God the Lord okay just putting that out there but anyways y'all um be sure to follow me on all my subs blah, 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 on all my socials um TikTok um Instagram YouTube be sure make sure you guys are subscribed we have so many good things coming up um for this channel I think I'm changing the direction of everything and I just really gave everything to God like my channel everything all that I do I have just truly surrendered to God and let him take over everything because I wouldn't be where I'm at right now if it wasn't for him but anyways let's get into this update before we get into this vlog because y'all gonna spend a few days with me of course but I can't just jump into a vlog and not tell y'all what's going on with me you know but anyways um yeah I've been gone for two months where have I been doing child get myself together mentally physically emotionally spiritually if you guys hear chewing it's because the dogs are eating and they're being quiet so sorry but yeah i just uh, also school started back of course so that really took up a lot of my time this school year has been so amazing i think the last vlog before the arizona vlog was me like um setting up my classroom and all that kind of stuff but you guys school has started and it's been amazing god has been so good i've been blessed with the most amazing kids ever i don't have any problems out of them like god he looked up he he looked out for me when it came to teaching or whatever um this year and i'm so thankful and glad about that um because it's been a breeze like i haven't been like i have to do this when i go to work i have to do that when i go to work now i just go to work i just go to work and i just let everything just flow how it needs to flow i stopped being control um and i got deeper into my bible study you guys may or may not know but i lead my own bible study group on tiktok um so be sure to meet me there on wednesdays at 7 30 it's been a grand time i've truly been blessing been a blessing to myself preaching to myself most of the time clocking my own tea most of the time but as long as i'm able to touch one person i'm just doing what god told me to do and you know i'm just so blessed and i'm thankful and i'm grateful for all that he's done like y'all god has really did a number on me in the best way ever like i am if you watch my bible study but i have talked about a lot that i'm in this season i'm in this season i'm in the season of just quiet i had to be quiet for a long long time just to get to where i'm at today before i can even share with other people because people don't be happy for you y'all people don't be happy for you they don't even be sad for you they, they just don't want to see you do good and you know i was in a space where i just had to be quiet i could not announce anything so the best thing for me to do was to not record nothing at all that is what was going on i really focused a lot on my bible study and really getting into the word of god and just letting god lead me in a lot and everything that he wants me to do and just really submitting to his will because eventually you're gonna get tired and eventually you're just gonna be like you know what god i throw the towel in you got it okay you got it you got it so that's really what i've been doing and where i've been I've just been praying a lot studying the bible um and just watching everybody i've just been observing i've just been evolving i've been changing 
Um, and I just think that me going through what I went through, I just don't think I would have made it through peacefully and like so sound mind if it wasn't for me getting it deeper into my Bible and reading the word and going to church consistently and like being on time for church and you know just really retaining the information that I'm learning and all of that uh, that's really where I've been mentally physically spiritually emotionally just letting God lead the way y'all and there's nothing wrong with that you can still have fun you can still do all this that and the third okay so don't let nobody tell you different because I'm here to tell you don't let nobody tell you different okay and I think another thing for me is I've just been asking God to let me stay true to uh, keep me true to myself don't let me look left or look right because that's not the path that I'm on I'm on my own path my own journey I always tell people I got my own mind I got my own this I got my own dick so yeah that's another thing that I've just been working on and been praying about and I pray a lot more now I've just changed these past two months have just been one big change okay literally and I couldn't be happier like I'm so happy right now I'm in a very peaceful place um I'm working on things daily within myself a lot of personal growth and profess personal development and all of that kind of things what kind of woman do I want to be what kind of wife do I want to be what kind of mom do I want to be what kind of entrepreneur do I want to be what kind of youtuber do I want to be you know I've really been focusing on those kind of things as well just really focusing on myself so that way I can be the best me that I can be for you guys if I can't if I don't stop and take time to pour into myself I can't keep pouring into y'all y'all ain't gonna get nothing out of me because my cup's empty so that's another thing that I had to do, which was stop and regroup, focus on myself. And I just was going through so much and God really brought me out. OK, so that that's also another place of where I've been just being quiet, honestly, just being quiet. And I appreciate everyone who's been DMing me, asking me, where have I been? Are you OK? Da da da. Because they're like, well, you're making TikToks, but why are you not making YouTube videos? I gotta keep something consistent you know <laughs> let y'all know i am okay but um tiktok is doing well but youtube is definitely my passion that's another thing i really 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 want to focus on um as well so make sure you're subscribed okay so also another thing that and I lie, i'm so scared to say this <laughs> but we're in a new place as you guys can see um yeah i'm in a new apartment this is my first time living by myself in five years. Um, and you guys are probably going to be like, what? Um, so, yeah, this will be my first time living on my own in five years. And everything is going to be pink and I cannot wait. Um, unfortunately, you know, sometimes things don't work out. And that's really all I'm going to say about that. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that because my heart is racing. And I just want everyone to be happy for me because... I'm doing really good right now, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, all of that. So let's just be happy in this time and in this moment. Um, and we're going to be OK. I'm going to be OK. I keep telling myself that I'm going to be OK and I've been OK. Um, so, yeah, that's where I've been. I hope that tells you guys enough without me saying too much. But I love my new apartment like, uh this is going to be barbie's dream house like y'all know i love pink so this will be the first time i get to decorate an apartment where like i don't really have to consider someone else's feelings of like oh we need to make it neutral just so it doesn't look too girly or too boyish no everything in here gets to be pink down to the dog beds get to be pink like everything in here is going to be pink i cannot wait i'm so excited and god has been so good um that's really it that's really all i can say it's like god is so good um i did create a housewarming wish list um i'll leave it linked below if anybody wants to purchase anything um i know this is probably a shocker to everyone um even those around us um it wasn't an easy decision but yeah that's really all i'm gonna say that's really all I'm going to say. But um, yeah, you guys, like I'm so excited. This is going to be so new for me. Um, I downsize. I'm in a one bedroom now. Um, so yeah, I don't have like a beauty room anymore. So we're just making it do what it do. But this 
I love this apartment. Like, I love it. I cannot wait for you guys to see it all put together. Um, but yeah, just know it's going to be Pink Wonderland up in here, okay? The name of the, we call this the Pink Palace because it is. Welcome to the Pink, the Egg B, okay? Because everything here is going to be pink. Everything here is white right now, but just wait. Give me, give me a little bit of time and y'all will see the vision and what I'm talking about. Um, so yes, that is where I've been. That is a life update for you guys. I hope you guys, yeah, thank you. <laughs> that was so nerve wracking talking about all of that. Um, just because like I said, I've been quiet and now I'm in a season of transition and like just changing so many things and just doing every a lot of things differently because when you've done the same thing for like five years now we're doing something different something new um and it it feels weird and that's okay um for a while i was just very uncomfortable and i'm just so glad that i'm not in that uncomfortable space anymore and now i can just breathe and be myself and come back on youtube because you guys i really miss you guys i miss making videos i was like oh my gosh like <sighs> They're going to be like, this girl done left us again. Okay, I'm not going to leave you guys again, okay? I want to come up with a better YouTube uploading schedule um, and all of that. So, you guys, just leave your suggestions down below. So, today is Sunday. I've been talking for 12 minutes straight, but I had to just make sure that I got everything out that I need to say. And also saying it with grace and saying it with respect um, because that's really big and important for me. Um is to still show respect to a person um yeah so that's my life that's an update for you guys we're living alone oh my god it's so weird i'm so excited though um yeah i keep saying um a lot i'm sorry and but just know the content is going to be hitting okay the content is going to be fire but I am about to go change this. I was in my church clothes talking to you guys. This is such a cute outfit. This is what I wore today. I'm gonna show you guys. Cute. I got this from Shein, of course, with this little ruffles and then I have some blue shoes. I'll try to put a picture somewhere here on the screen so you guys can see it because I'm hot and ready to take this off. Also, my hair is from um, Amazon, of course. I'm gonna put this hair in my Amazon storefront. Y'all, this is the best curly hair I've ever had. First off, I've had this wig on for two weeks because I glued down the closure a little bit and it has not came off, came up. The lace is good. Y'all, I can brush through this. Like, this hair is really just tea. Y'all need to get y'all some. And it's 32 inches. And once it's, like, wet, it definitely gives 32 inches, if y'all can see. So, yeah. I love this hair. I think curly hair might be my thing. Um, so, yes. I'm trying to think of what else is going on in my life. But I also want to thank my friends, my family, my spiritual leaders, my homegirls, my sisters, my dogs. I want to thank everyone in my life, my personal private life that has been there for me through these past two months of all the things that I've been going through. Ups, downs, round and rounds. Like everyone has really held me down and I really appreciate it. I love everyone so, so much. And I just thank you guys so much for being there for me, listening to me, letting me cry, letting me do this, letting me just yap, 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 yap away um, for just continue to push me to keep going and moving forward and all of that greatness, you guys. You guys are the best. <clears throat> you guys are the absolute best. Um, and I love you guys so much. But yes. That's all I really have to say. Besides, welcome to the pink. Woo! You guys, I'm so excited. And anyone that buys anything from my Amazon wish list, thank you. Like, uh, thanks so much. I'm gonna um, link it somewhere in the description box, clearly. Um, so yeah, that's it for this life update. Now, this I was seeing her talk for 15 minutes. That, that's a long time, y'all. I hope y'all gonna stay for the rest of the vlog, okay? I think my mommy's coming on Tuesday, and I'm super excited to see her. So, yeah, we're getting my bed set up on Tuesday. Um, and then my mom and my grandma, they're gonna do whatever they wanna do in this apartment, putting it together and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, and we gotta go to work. 
it's gonna be a cute little week for us okay um but i love you guys and thank you for checking on me thank you for loving me and all of your support and your prayers i'm okay i promise you i'm okay i've been okay i was okay then i am okay now um i wouldn't have been gone through none of this stuff and i would not have made it where i'm at right now if it wasn't for god so try jesus y'all He'll work it out for you, okay? But let's just get into the rest of this vlog. I feel like I done chatted, 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 chatted. I hope I don't need to make this his own video. But I mean, I've been gone for so long, so y'all might enjoy it for real. Anyways, if you guys made it this far in the video, leave a pink heart in the comments. Let me know that you made it this far, okay? Um, but yes, I love you guys. And let's just get into this vlog because I need to change, okay? Mmm. Hey y'all, happy Monday. Uh, it is like in the afternoon time because I've been on go mode since I got to work. But it's lunch, lunch is about to be over, the bell's about to ring and now I gotta go back into teacher mode. Took me a nice little break. Was chatting with my mom. Say hey mom. Hi. So yes. I guess I'll catch up with y'all when I get home for real because my job is very consuming, time consuming, energy consuming, like, ugh. I'm ready to go home. So much to do. Um, Ma, I really hope y'all can come tomorrow, like. Cause Auntie back is hurting on that couch. I'm gonna organize my room today. You what? I'm gonna organize my room because there's clothes everywhere. Okay. I gotta go do my job. Okay, bye. Bye. Today is uh, country versus country club day. Y'all, I don't know how I wore these. I wore these boots in Arizona. I don't know how I was strutting my stuff in them because, baby, my feet hurt. <laughs> my feet hurt, y'all. And I know I'm not made up or anything today, but. This hair is just so good. Me and me and my niece slash student was arguing because she wants this wig. And I said, honey, this is actually some good hair. I don't know how that auntie can't slide you this wig. I'll find you another one. But yeah, let me show y'all my outfit. Oh, also my classroom. Updates. Don't mind them falling down. They're gonna come down soon. So don't pay, don't pay attention to that. But this is my classroom. It's about to be filled with a bunch of loud kids. Um, so yeah. Let me show you guys what I'm wearing. This is what I'm wearing for country day. Participate. It's spirit week, homecoming week, so. This is what I'm wearing. I need to clean this mirror, even though we've had 20 million conversations about touching a mirror. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing. The skirt is from the skirt I wore in Arizona and these boots are from the set that I wore in Arizona. Cute, but yeah. I gotta go do my job now. I will see you guys when I get home. It's the end of the school day. I'm so happy about that. My feet are on fire. I don't know how I wear these boots in Arizona, y'all. But I usually would dip out a little early, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna clean up because it just, I didn't really deep clean last week. We usually deep clean once on Fridays, but Friday I was so ready to get out of here, y'all. But it's nasty in here, like, yeah. Attention all bus riders, buses will be rolling out in two minutes. Attention all bus riders, buses will be rolling out in two minutes. Mainly I'm spot sweeping because it's like food on the floor and we're gonna have a conversation about that, about the food being on the floor because, um, this is not no barnyard. Don't be leaving that stuff on my floor. Need to clean up now. At the end of the day, there's still kids, so you still gotta clean up behind your kids. Also, I'm waiting for the parking lot to clear out because these kids can't drive. Okay, that was done. We I made them wipe the desk down earlier. Honestly, I have some work I need to get done, but I just am, I'm very big on not taking any work home with me. 
unless I desperately have to. So, yeah. Let's get ready to go home. Um, I'm gonna, I take my computer home with me just because, I mean, I need to have my computer home with me at all times because I don't want to leave it at school. But as far as opening the computer when I get home, oh baby. No. When I, I be Hannah Montana, at school I'm Hannah Montana, at home I'm Miley Cyrus. So, you know, as soon as I walk out this building, M Miley Cyrus will be making an appearance, okay? Yeah. I have so much stuff I need to do, like clean my room. I want to read my Bible for a little bit today. Y'all, my feet is burning with these shoes. I don't like what's going on. Ooh, ooh, my feet is on fire. Anyways, let's go. Somebody left their notebook. They'll come get it tomorrow. But today was a good day. I quizzed two of my classes and they did really, really well. Um, so y'all know I teach hospitality and tourism management and I also teach business essentials. So my business essentials class, we're getting ready to take a midterm and I'm kind of nervous about, but I've just been staying positive about it. We're gonna, everyone's gonna do well. That's what I keep telling myself. So, yeah. All I know is I'm not wearing these shoes no more. They burning my feet up. <laughs> and I'm taking them off as soon as I get in the car too. Maybe because my socks are like pulling on my toe. I don't know. I'm just yapping at this point. I ain't even talking about nothing for real. Oh, and in my hospitality and tourism class, they're gonna be taking a test on. Wednesday, so I, t I quizzed them today and my fourth block's class average was a 92%, so I love that. All right, let's go. Hey y'all, it is 8.37 and I'm getting ready to go to bed, y'all. I can't say the last time I went to bed this early. Well, I mean, I'm gonna have dinner first and then relax and like just, I really been prioritizing my self care and my self care includes skincare, a long, nice hot shower, pajamas, reading, whether it's reading my, well, most likely it's reading my Bible, reading devotion, watching TV, maybe having a glass of wine. Not all of these together, y'all, okay? Thank you. Having a glass of wine, having a hookah, like, Something, I usually just pick something every day that's going to relax me and just put me in the mood. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to, Bella's going crazy, don't know why. But I'm about to take the day off because even though I don't have a lot of makeup, my face is breaking out because Miss Homegirl's coming to visit me real soon. So, yeah. Y'all, don't y'all like the lighting in my bathroom? It's so bright and like, oh! I just love it here. But yeah, we're about to do some skincare. Um, gotta put these on. They're, they're two different colors, but they both do the same thing. Y'all, tomorrow's character day at school, and I don't know what to dress up as. Like, my, if y'all see my bedroom, it's a mess. And I haven't even started working on it, so we're not gonna do that. I don't know why they're barking. Like, it's really annoying me. But. We're about to do some skincare. Luckily, I don't have on any makeup, really. I only did my eyebrows this morning, y'all. I will go. I will go at 6.15 today, and I have 15 minutes to get ready and be out the door. So, you know, no makeup. I had on brows and mascara, so I don't really have to do anything. I'll probably just use a makeup wipe to get my mascara off. Sorry, the dogs are going crazy. My dinner is done, so I'm happy about that. I just made something real quick. So, yeah. Um, I think especially going through this time though, you guys, I've just been prioritizing my self-care and like pouring into myself like I told you guys earlier, like ugh, it's that's just what's been keeping me together. Keeping me from breaking down. But um I have the best people around me. 
but yes you guys self care i've really been prioritizing that i just sent out my invitations for my house warming so y'all know it's about to be lit any party any event that cam throws y'all know it's always a freaking movie it's always gonna be epic it's always gonna be so much fun but i think um where i'm at right now it's like i've only invited i didn't invite a lot of people um just because things have changed even in friendships too so yeah that's just where i'm at with it all but i'm cooking i'm throwing down like for real i'm making collard greens i'm making cornbread i'm making fried chicken i'm making salmon i'm making everything okay it's gonna be late and it's going to be amazing but yeah i'm done chatting i've been chatting for a long time right now i'm about to do my skincare i'm gonna show you guys what i've been doing for my skincare lately and then i'm probably gonna see you guys in the morning because i want to have dinner and i'm getting sleepy um and i would like to be knocked out asleep it's 8 41 i would like to be knocked out asleep by 10 o'clock so yes after i do my finger routine i will see you guys in the morning bright and early i don't know what i'm gonna wear also i've been waking up I, today was a really the only day well it's been a few days that i woke up like had like a late morning which is like 30 extra minutes but um yeah i'm using the la roche posay cleanser usually if i had makeup on i would use the uh face and body clean beauty light cleansing oh i love this stuff it used to burn my eyes but i guess my eyes got used to it but i love this stuff you guys um this brand sent it to me the face shop i love that and then um but i didn't wear any makeup today so i'm just gonna do my basic little routine call it a day i did take a long nap today after i got home from work because mondays are the longest for me mondays it's like i'm recovering from the weekend i also have tests i gotta give i got midterms i gotta prep for i have meetings to attend to tuesdays and wednesdays are always monday through wednesday are always my longest day the easiest days are always thursdays and fridays for me um why it just teacher life y'all teacher life teacher things okay i came home took me like a three hour nap it was too good so i've really just been loving taking my time on my skincare even though my skin ain't clear <laughs> Because my homegirl coming to visit me real soon, y'all. Real soon. Because the pimples have been pimpling. So, yeah. The skin, it's like, like, girl, what's going on? I'm going to have to put some more different gel. Usually when I use different gel one time, it works. But lately what's going on my skin's just been out of whack stress i'm finally stress free like i haven't been like so stressed out lately um so the skin is calming down i'm calmed and calm down now so yeah i don't know why bella is going crazy it's really aggravating me seriously Okay, and then now I'm going to use a, or, the Ordinary Milky Toner. So, I actually like it. What is it doing for my skin? <clears throat> I don't know. It's just a gentle exfoliating toner with yeast ferment technology. Maybe is this breaking my skin out? Y'all let me know down below. I mean, it's cool. It was affordable. I like the price on it. So, yeah. I hope you guys don't mind me being so chatty. I mean, I just haven't talked to y'all in so long. I hope y'all missed me. I really do because I missed y'all. This is going to be the first night I'm not picking out my clothes for in the morning because I don't feel like it. Okay? Don't feel like it. And that means tomorrow we're just going to go with the flow. 
that's what we're gonna do tomorrow go in the morning we're gonna go with the flow okay also feel really bad because i got a lot of pr like within these past month or two that i was not able to show you guys so hopefully whenever i come across it because most of it's still packed up i can show it to you guys okay but um yeah so now that we've toned i usually go in with all my serums i goes in with all my serums and then my little night cream um but yes, I still use the Mela B3 Serum Dark Spot Corrector by La Roche Posay. La Roche Posay, y'all need to call me, okay? Because I, but yeah, this is it right here. Because I love this brand. I love this stuff. Um, I've been hanging on to it for dear life because it's $33. And you know, $33 be a lot. But did it last me a long time? It did. So, you know, try it out. You'll like it. You know, all I know is this pimple needs to be gone because like it's just popping real bad at that. <laughs> also, you guys, I have some new serums from the Dollar Tree and I actually love them. I'm just not using them today because I usually use those in the morning time because they're so like lightweight and thin. I like to go in real thick in the morning time. I mean, at night time. <laughs> Okay, and then actually I like this stuff. Did I buy it because the contents in it are hot pink? I did. Well, bubblegum pink, yes. The Ordinary Soothing and Bearing Support Serum. Um, It definitely leaves my skin so hydrated. I love this stuff. Let me show y'all. And it's bubblegum pink like Pepto-Bismol pink when it comes out. See? she's i love her and she just leaves me looking so like glassy and hydrated so like i really love this y'all see the skin i mean ignore the pimples but y'all see the skin she's cute but those are all the things i use and then to top it off um also y'all let me know am i using too many products because i don't think i am i feel like i ain't using enough um but laneige shout out to laneige they sent me this um water sleeping mask like a little mini one and i ran out of moisturizer so i've been using this she's cute i feel like it's thin enough because i've already done put on all my creams and serums and stuff so you know she's cute enough she does enough for me I feel like it seals, she seals me all the way in. And that is what I do. That is my nighttime routine, my nighttime skincare routine, y'all. I like to go to bed looking like a glazed donut. And as you guys can tell, I am a glazed donut. Krispy Kreme to be exact, so okay. So yeah. Oh, we need to put some different gel on. And then we're going to go get ready for bed. This is the different gel. This is what it looks like. I've had it for a minute, but it works. I don't use it too often. I think I just put too much on. Yeah. And yeah. It's time to go to bed, y'all. I just sat here and talked to y'all for 12 minutes. Like, oh my God. <clears throat> This is gonna be a long chatty video, but I hope you guys miss me enough to sit through and watch this whole video, okay? I'm sorry the lighting is like acting funny. Sorry about that, guys. But I love y'all. I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, you guys. It is Wednesday, hump day, pink day. Um, Am I at work right now? I am not. Y'all, my period started. We're all girls here, okay? So y'all can know. My period started this. Ooh, close this door. Come on, Bella, get out of here. Y'all do not need to see that. Sorry. <laughs> yes, good morning, guys. Again, it is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, My period came on. Um, when my period's on, my cramps are out of this world. So, um, you know, I got a little late start this morning. It's currently 8-11. I need to be leaving um, by 
what, 8.15? <laughs> Girl, I ain't even leaving by like 8.25 for her. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Usually for work, I do a quick, quick, quick makeup look or whatever. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I got some bacon cooking. Um, somehow some way my biscuits. Bella, come from over there. Come here. Come here. Somehow some way my biscuits got put in the freezer. So yeah, I can't have biscuits. I need to let those thaw out. Just bacon. Something to get me going because like my cramps are out of this world right now. Yes, I took something. Um, but yeah, we kind of have a long day today. Wednesdays are for Bible study. Um, so yeah, that's what we got to do. I'm thinking about switching my Bible study days to Tuesdays because I want to go to Bible study at my own church. <clears throat> um so yeah just because you know i want to i don't know if i how to explain it but and i need to cover this pimple up but i've been letting it rock out but baby you gotta go i haven't been wearing makeup like that to work i was about to say the church i haven't been wearing makeup like that but it's been getting up and going but yeah I thought I wasn't gonna be able to leave by 8.20. I think I can, I already know what I'm wearing, so that's not hard. It's pink day, so that ain't hard to find something to wear. I just wanted to put on a little something, something. Look a little presentable since I had a, gave myself a little bit of time. I don't have a first period, you guys. So that's why I was like, you know, let's just have a little long morning because we're not feeling well. Like, ooh, y'all. I got the, I had some work to do last night too, so I got that done. I met with the girls. I met with Dylan and Lita last night. We had a cute little after work chat or whatever, which led to like 8, 30, 9 o'clock, even though I kept telling them, y'all, I'm leaving at a certain time. It's all good. Those are my girls. Those are my girls and my sister. So we go. So yeah. I love this stuff. Y'all, we're about to get back in our makeup bag, okay? I want to start by taking appointments, but it's like, uh, Camille, you're not consistent with that. And I had to be real with myself. I do amazing work. I'm more of like word of mouth. I'm that kind of, you know how you got the old school hairstylist that's like, they word of mouth, they don't got no book of sight, don't got none of that. That's me, child. If you can find me, you can find me. If you can't, don't know. All right, that's enough makeup for today. Let's put some blush on to even me out. Y'all, I got this blush bronzer duo from the Beauty Supply Store. It's the NK highlighter, and it's called Cleopatra, and it is my absolute favorite out of my all my expensive stuff, out of, like, everything. Absolute favorite. It's so pretty. And I need to go back and get me another one. Why? Well, I don't know. so cute right i feel like i need to put a little bit of bronzer on but it's whatever i got this one size bronzer that i barely use and i need to start using it it's so weird it's so different having my makeup in my bathroom now and like it's just making me stay more organized more clean um so yeah we're done I'm gonna use a little bit of one size because I low-key need this makeup stay on all day. Put some mascara on. That's out. Put some clothes on. So we're gonna be out to go. That's out. I'm use all of them. There was nothing in that. So. There we go. My clothes on. I'll be right back. Okay. This is what I'm wearing. Shirt from, it's a bodysuit from Forever 21. I've had it for a long time. Pink pants, Fashion Nova. My dunks. Oh, with my Rick and Morty socks. 
and then these glasses i got them from this boutique called thrifty lounge boutique um, i actually really love these these are like my favorite pair of glasses they're so cute and fun and funky so yeah we're about to go because i ain't got no mascara on for referral and i need to put some on but yeah we're about to go um this sweater is not really what i'm going to wear my other sweaters at work but it's cold outside so i still need to put something on my arms so yeah let's go have a great day you guys i will see y'all i'll be checking with y'all a little bit later i don't know when but i'll see you guys in the next clip pretty much hey guys happy wednesday um i'm in a much better mood clearly as you guys can tell compared to this morning um yeah i'm in a good mood because we're about to do bible study in about 15 20 minutes um i'm super excited um i mean clearly i'm not going to do it in here so i'll share it with you guys but today we are going to be talking about quick to listen slow to speak that's the topic and i think i really wanted to touch on this topic because i have been quiet in a quiet season of like where i have just needed to be quiet you know so that is why i really wanted to talk about this bella what are you doing hey oh my god cage i just felt really led to talk about this and you know i had a really lovely conversation with my uncle my uncle dj my uncle freeman you know i had a good conversation with him because i just had a creative oh i've been in like a i've been quiet for so long now that it's time for me to talk i don't know what to talk about and you know after me and him just had a general conversation it just came about and he helped me and i'm so thankful appreciative to him um for helping me you know figure it out or whatever um, I'm so happy for all of my spiritual leaders in my life, my mom, my dad, my pastors, my uncle, you know, just those very important spiritual people in my life that have been helping me and guiding me through this se other season that I'm in too. Um, so yeah, and am I having a cup of coffee right now? I think I'm officially an auntie because your girl is sleepy on top of her friend visiting her. It's just really making me tired. So yes, I'm having a cup of coffee. I sure am and it's good but yes I'm super excited and I feel so prepared I'm so ready um to do this like yes so if you guys follow me on TikTok you guys know every Wednesday at 7 30 I go live and we do Bible study um and I'm trying to think should I switch it to Tuesday so that way I can attend Bible study at my own at my church um that I do go to now so yeah that's what we're about to get into um excited for what we're going to talk about because it's so relatable and i'm trying to think should i am i going to share my personal testimony of what i've been going through these past few months of me being quiet why i've been quiet you know get a little bit in depth with it without telling too much you know um just trying to decide on that which way i should go but honestly i'm just gonna let god flow through me like i always do and if it's the opportunity to tell then i'll tell and if not then hey i don't have to it's okay it's whatever god wants and i'm gonna let him lead the whole conversation like i always do um but yes y'all i'm so excited make sure you're following me on tiktok because i've been pretty consistent very consistent with bible study and I've pressed through. I've done Bible study when I was going through, like having a rough day. And then one, by the time I'm done, I feel so much better. So I encourage you guys to get it, get you one of these. You know what this is? It's a Bible. It's pink. It is. But it's a Bible. And I per my, me personally, I like the NLT version. I feel like it's good for the young people because it just breaks it down a little bit more than the king james version now king james version I, I call that that's that's for my experts like my daddy um and you know i stick to my nlt for now okay i'm gonna get there one day i'm gonna get there sooner than i know it i'm pretty sure but i'm gonna check in with you guys a little bit later once i'm probably cooking dinner and i need to charge my camera my battery is about to die but i just wanted to come and check in with you guys and you know let y'all know what's up I'm trying to decide if i'm gonna keep this vlog going or what 
I don't know. <sighs> but yeah, I'll see y'all in a second. Um, I'm just gonna read over some more things a little bit more before I start talking and prepare myself a little bit more. Hello. Hey guys. <clears throat> Currently, it is Friday afternoon. I'm currently getting dressed because I got a long night. We got homecoming tonight and I have the wonderful opportunity to escort one of my students that I'm very, very, very close to, very near and dear to my heart. I, she chose me to escort her on the field because she is a part of the homecoming court at our school. So I am so honored that she picked little old me to escort her. That's my girl. We've been together since I started. When I started at my school, she start, She was a new student to the school. And, you know, that's just my girl. That's just my my girl i'm so honored to be that much of a positive influence on someone that they want me to do this for with them walk this with them so you know auntie gotta come through with the looks with the fashions okay so that's what i'm about to do i'm about to beat my face down um because i don't really i feel like i don't really get to get dressed up that often anymore so yeah that's what I'm about to do. Um, I haven't been on here. I edited a little bit since I've gotten home from school um, and all of that. It's been a busy week, but I'm just blessed that we made it through the week, of course. So, yes, I'm about to get dressed and all of that. I got a long night, so I'm going to see y'all once I get my outfit on. The goal is to be somewhat dressed by 530 so that way I can record some content or whatever. Or TikTok because this dress is very tea. So tea that I'm wearing. It's gonna be so cold tonight, y'all. Oh my gosh. So yeah. I wasn't gonna wear this dress because I was like, I'm saving it if I go on a hot date, like a real classy little date or something, but I don't know when that's gonna happen. So we're gonna go ahead and wear the dress now. And if I give me a nice hot date soon, you know then i'll wear it again but until then we're gonna wear the dress now because why i got a washing machine and i can wear the dress as many times as i want to because i can wash it yeah so yeah that's what we're about to do my skin has been acting so wonky um yeah yesterday i didn't do much so i didn't vlog kind of had like a little down day or whatever kind of got some sad not sad it's not sad at all just some crazy news so i was just kind of down so i took yesterday off and here we are it's friday super excited today i was so today went by so slow i was so tired today so that's all i got for you i've been y'all this vlog is so chatty like i'm so sorry but i've been away for so long i feel like i owe y'all a conversation don't i so that's what i'm here to do but yeah Y'all let me know what other kind of videos y'all want. Of course, some kind of apartment decor vlog is coming soon because there's no decor in my house now um, because I just moved like not too long ago. So it's still fairly like it's livable, but there's no decor. So yeah, my bed's not even here yet. So yeah, there's nothing to see yet. Everything is still white. I mean, I can show you guys my makeup. That's all I can show you. <laughs> It's all that's set up in my kitchen um, and my couch and that's about it. But other than decor and stuff, you guys are going to definitely be a part of that because I cannot wait to turn this into the pink palace. And once I do, I'm going to my I'm having a housewarming that I need to have everything low key decorated by then. So. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get dressed. Think about going live while I do my makeup and stuff. I think I'm gonna go live. I'm gonna go live. Cause I need to go live more than just on Wednesday. So I'm gonna check in with y'all once I have my clothes on and stuff like that. Because y'all know how I do my makeup. Beats it down every time. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show y'all my outfit once I'm dressed and ready. I just wanna come on here and say happy Friday, y'all. I've missed y'all so much. That's why I'm so chatty. Chatty, chatty, chatty. Um, yeah, bye.
I didn't get to show you guys my outfit because I am rushing but y'all can see part of it um i made a tiktok like outfit because this dress was like going viral on tiktok and i finally got my hands on it from fashion nova <clears throat> but we just got here i'm trying to park and hurry up i'm hungry again even though i ate earlier i should have cooked that chicken <sighs> but yeah it's gonna be so fun <laughs> to close out this vlog and i really hope you enjoyed yourself i hope you enjoyed talking well not talking to me but listening to me talk um i hope you enjoyed this video homecoming was great i got in and got out it's time to settle down and chill it's friday night child i'm about to cook me some shrimps and some potatoes and chill I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much. If you made it this far in the video because I oh it was so long, be sure to comment. I don't know, comment a pink heart or something, some kind of heart. It doesn't matter. Your favorite colored heart on in the comments below. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.